you guys drove the vehicle, you had a better idea of what we're talking about, especially if you were able to drive uh, the 15 mile of your vehicle and then drive the 16 mile of your. But if you take a look um, to what we're referring to as a dynamic shield, our global kind of new design language, there's some some of the chrome accents and the gloss black interior. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the gloss black um, front bumper, uh, the center bumper. Um, it's very a lot more sporty, a lot more aggressive compared to the 15 model year Outlander, and we think that um, you know we're kind of going back to our roots here. This particular car is uh, loaded with accessories. We have over 30 different accessories that we're going to be offering to our dealers and customers uh, for this vehicle. Uh, so it's got a body kit on this vehicle. It's got the uh, the front hood uh, protector. Um, there's some other stuff like the fuel alloy door. Um, basically, all around the vehicle, the body kit kind of wraps wraps around from the front side into the rear as well. Um, but as I mentioned, if you take a look here, you've got the LED lights, uh, positioning lights. Uh, these are not the ones with the LED headlamps, but what's really cool about them is they have two bulbs. So it actually, the, sh the brightness of it is really, really nice actually. Um, and then again, like I said, just the dynamic shield, we're going to be implementing a similar type of uh, design language uh, to all of our vehicles uh, in the near future. Um, as we mentioned as well, it's got a new, uh, new front fender. Um, new hood, new 18-inch wheels as we move to the side of the vehicle, the garnish pieces over here. Um, and then uh, you got a lot, of, a lot of little details that we've done to the vehicle. Um, this is one of the things is the weather stripping and all the little things that we've added to just kind of have a better sounding closing door um, compared to some of the, you know, the 15 model year and some of the other vehicles that we have. Um, and then as you kind of move around to the back, um, we got the LED, the LED tail lights that are standard on all, on all trims. Um, and then also we have a very similar uh, trim accent in the back that's kind of, it, it relates to the front a little bit, but we're moving it on to the side of the vehicle as well as to the rear. Um, and then again, it's a new rear fascia. And then uh, just a lot of little things that we've added on the, from the exterior perspective. And then as you move to the inside, uh, as I mentioned, it's a lot more subtle in terms of the things that we've changed, but we've also upgraded just, like I said, the, the leather, the leather uh, feeling, the steering wheel, the material. Um, we just add a little bit more accents, the knit type headliner. Uh, all, going all the way down to the A pillar, it's also wrapped in fabric as well. So I just wanted to kind of point out some of the things that we uh, spent a lot of time on. Hopefully you guys uh, got a chance to enjoy, enjoy the drive of the vehicle and notice some of the differences that we've been hitting on. Um, but then I think Nate, um, Nate over there, if you go inside, we actually have um, one of the audio systems that we're working on right now with Japan is the, uh, the Android Auto and Car, uh, CarPlay, the Apple CarPlay. Uh, system that we're going to do a little demonstration, but mind you, just understand it's it's an engineering testing unit that we're still working with, um, so it's not quite ready uh, yet. But uh, we just wanted to show you that we you know we are in there, and there's a lot of other competitors that are uh, starting to offer this uh, very shortly, um, if not already. So uh, we're excited about some of the new technologies uh, that we're going to be coming out with fairly soon.